This is a very exciting moment. Dr. Odunsi, who is my deputy, not only does he lead all the research uh, at this institute and provide uh, just exceptional leadership over all aspects of our research mission, but he's an expert in immunotherapy, well-funded and acknowledged around the country, and now he's a business owner because he's uh, started a small biotech company, and we're so excited. You know, immunotherapy, you all read about it in the news, um, it's, and, and you know, if you reflect back, and, and Kunle and I are both old enough to think back when uh, you would go to scientific meetings, and immunology would be maybe a couple posters here, and it was just, you know, never going to make anything. It's it's uh, uh, it's it's never going to work. And now, if you go to meetings, it's all immunology. The excitement around immunologic approaches in using your own immune system to fight cancer. It's such an exciting area. We've learned so much, and Dr. Odunsi and Dr. Koya have done just a fantastic job at putting together uh, this biotech company that uh, we're so pleased to announce, Tactiva. Um, so we're here today to celebrate uh, the, this Tactiva, this new spinoff company. We're delighted to have um, uh, the Lieutenant Governor here to uh, share in that, and um, you know, she is an amazing woman. Uh, I love just sitting down and talking to her one-on-one. -on -one. She represents Western New York all over the state of New York. She's the governor's right hand, and we, we're all proud of uh, when wherever she's doing, whatever she's doing, she's there with a little Western New York hat on, and I know it's very special uh, for her, and we're just delighted. She's so supportive of Roswell Park and always has been throughout her whole career, and I'm just delighted to have her here today. Lieutenant Governor. Thank you, Dr. Johnson, and indeed it is a spectacular day here in the city of Buffalo. It is great to be back on the Roswell campus as well. We were just here in October with Governor Cuomo, I think it was October 26, when he uh, reflected on the rapid speed at which we were able to translate or transform a trip to Cuba, uh, at which you were present as well as members of your team into a, the opportunity to be, have uh, earth-shaking, groundbreaking developments in lung cancer therapy. So, so the governor and I both are strong supporters of Roswell, but also the larger Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus. Uh, the investments that we're making here in the life sciences and what you do here has really transformed the face of downtown Buffalo. And from going from 7,000 employees around year 2000 to an anticipated 15,000, uh, that has an impact on the neighborhood, the community, the housing market, the sense of energy, the, the attraction to the millennials, which is something I never thought I'd see in my lifetime, where there's young people now coming back in droves, uh, which is exciting for someone my age because maybe the next generation of parents won't lose their kids to another area, that it's all happening right here. So it's great as part of a how Roswell has really stepped up under your leadership and taken your really truly uh, expected role, but not always there, we can't guarantee this, that there's gonna be that collaboration between the research world, the medical world, and their partners in government. And that is something that I think was missing for a long time, and perhaps uh, held us back. And because of what you're doing here and Governor Cuomo, we are now able to commercialize uh, the ideas and the innovations that are occurring right here. And that, that's what the reputation want to have. So we can attract other people, the next entrepreneurs, the next leaders of Tactiva who will say, Roswell's the place to be. And I believe that's occurring. And so our investments at the state level of over 250 million, part of the Buffalo Billion and beyond uh, in this campus is paying dividends, but it's more than just the economic impact. It is the impact on people's lives. When I walk through the doors of Roswell, and I do so often, I get this sense of hope, a hope that for people who, before they stepped in that room, felt that maybe their lives had taken a turn where there was no future, that uh, hope was something of the past. And that is not what you feel when you walk in here. You feel you're surrounded by caring individuals, but not just people who will take care of you, but people who are leading and are on the cutting edge of new developments and technologies that are absolutely going to be life-saving. 
And particularly in the field that we're talking about today, there's uh, so many people losing their lives to the areas of cervical cancer, for example. And, and we have to question why so many African-American women are succumbing to this at higher rates than uh, non-African-Americans. And so there's a lot of research to be done as we come up with the opportunities through immunotherapy, but it's happening here. And there was a time when I didn't think we'd be able to say that this kind of innovation is going on right here before our eyes. And so I'm particularly proud on behalf of the governor to be here for the announcement uh, where you take the creative talent, the synergy, but also now putting a product behind it and a commercialization opportunity that's going to be uh, scaled up and more opportunities for people to take advantage of the work that's being done here at Roswell. So I want to congratulate you. I want to congratulate uh, everyone involved with Tactiva and say this is what we want wanted to have happen, but is exceeding even our expectations. And I will take the message back to the governor, uh, the excitement that was in this room today as we launched this new company, and I'm very proud to be part of it. Thank you very much. Um, thank you for the very kind words, Lieutenant Governor Hoko, and for been here today to celebrate the launch of this unique company. I have focused my research exclusively on immunotherapy for more than 20 years. And as Dr. Johnson pointed out, it is encouraging to see the excitement and regeneration of cancer immunotherapy where it's really making a difference in people's lives. And I'm here to tell you that immunotherapy has become the backbone of many cancer therapies. Not only has it become the backbone for the, and for the future, it's likely to be either complement or replace some of the currently existing therapies, such as radiation or chemotherapies. But there's more work to be done. We still have a lot to do. And that is why we created Tactiva Therapeutics. Tactiva provides us with the opportunity to advance the work that we started right here on the campus of Roswell Park at the Center for Immunotherapy to develop what we call next generation immunotherapies because even the current immunotherapies, very soon we're going to find that cancers are very clever and they're able to escape from immune attack. So how can we even begin to prepare for the future right now? And that is what, what Tactiva is all about. Our goal is that these next generation immunotherapies will help many patients to live longer and with better quality of life. As Dr. Johnson pointed out, um, immunotherapy stimulates the body's immune system to fight cancer. But I want to explain a little bit in more detail um, what is Tactiva's approach, what makes this a unique approach and why is this important to form a commercial um, um, platform? So the Tactiva approach makes use of the two major types of immune cells that all of us have. These are the helper cells. They are called helper CD4 cells. And the second group are the killer CD8 cells. So there are two major types of cells, helper cells, and the killer cells. The helper cells provide help and make the killer cells work even better. What we have done is to make helper T cells not only provide help, but the, to turn helper T cells also into killer T cells. So you have a little hit um, on, on, on the cancer cells because the cancer cells is being attacked in multiple ways by several cell populations of the immune system. So we believe that this approach will fill a major gap in cancer immunotherapy and offer long-lasting impact for patients with some of the most persistent hard-to-treat cancers. Let me explain a little bit further. Our approach hinges on a process called adoptive cell transfer, a form of immunotherapy in which the patient's own immune cells are drawn from the blood, genetically engineered, multiplied to generate billions of cells, and injected back into the patient, almost in the form of a blood transfusion, to begin to launch a powerful attack against cancer. 
Another critical element of Tactiva's approach is that we incorporate a unique approach by also taking a patient's own stem cells from their blood cells. Stem cells in the blood are those cells that regenerate to form blood cells, give rise to new blood cells. And again, we engineer these stem cells so that they can recognize and target cancer cells without damaging normal tissues. So as you can imagine, the engineered stem cells stay for a very long time in the body and they become a long-lasting source of anti-cancer immune cells that can lead to sustained remission from cancer. With this groundbreaking approach, it is the patient's own cells. And this, this approach is only possible because of the, um, all of the work that has been done in the Center for Immunotherapy. And once you use this, this approach, it becomes a personalized treatment, personalized medicine at its very best. We have looked at this approach in our preclinical studies for several types of cancers, and we have found it to be very effective in especially treating some of the very hard to treat cancers such as ovarian, pancreatic, prostate, lung, melanoma, sarcoma, and so on. So Tactiva Therapeutics plans to um, start a clinical trial within the next year that will make this novel platform available to patients all over the United States, in Western New York, first of all, but all over the United States um, in the very near future. So while there is much work to be done, we are very excited by the science. We are optimistic about this unique immunotherapy approach because we believe that it will lead to better, more effective, more enduring treatment for cancer. And that this approach will become a new source of hope and encouragement to cancer patients. I would like to take a moment to recognize and say thank you to some of the many people who have been essential in helping us to make this day possible. First, I would like to recognize my research partner and colleague, Dr. Richard Koya. Richard, can you stand up? <laughs> Richard is the Chief Scientific Officer and co-founder of Tactiva Therapeutics. He's also the Associate Director of the Center for Immunotherapy at Rosa Park. Matt Kolpois, can you stand? <laughs> Matt is also co-founder of Tactiva Therapeutics and the Chief Executive Officer. I would also like to acknowledge and thank the entire faculty and staff of the Rosa Park Center for Immunotherapy and I would like to point out three people, especially Drs. Jonko Matuzaki, Dr. Takema Sasuji, and Dr. Thinley Chodon. Thank you all for what you do every day to make Roswell Park a great place. <laughs> Once again, um, we are very grateful, Lieutenant um, um, Governor Hoku, for continuing to support us, and again to the Governor Cuomo for supporting um, Roswell Park. Thank you for your word of encouragement. Now, Senator Kennedy is here. I'm going to um, call upon you. We're so grateful to have you here as well, and um, I'm sure you would like to say a few words. Good morning. Uh, thank you again, doctor, and uh, to each and every one of you, uh, good morning, and I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. It, it's always humbling to be here at Roswell, or quite frankly, anywhere on the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus, with this much intelligence staring at me. All of these doctors, all of these healthcare practitioners, all of these folks that work every single day to help our community. Thank you for everything that you do, of course, uh, to our great Lieutenant Governor, who has taken the lead in ensuring that Western New York not only is on the map 
down in Albany, but is on the front burner when decisions are being made uh, in the state capitol. Of course, to Dr. Candace Johnson, once again, thank you and congratulations to all the great things that are happening here. Uh, to the folks at Tactiva, uh, a trio of Buffalonians that are focused on not only helping mankind uh, through research and entrepreneurism, but also creating jobs and helping our economy at the same time. And I think it's an extraordinary model that has been created right here in the heart of the city of Buffalo on the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus. When you have this opportunity to make an investment in the future of our community uh, via job creation and economic growth, but at the same time helping to cure cancer, helping to treat individuals with cancer and to live the best quality of life they can possibly live uh, with such a destructive disease. And so I give a tremendous amount of credit and our community uh, extends a great debt of gratitude to individuals that care so much about our community that would invest not only in the human capital, uh, but invest in the future of Buffalo by making this the central point for their new business. And many, many generations of Buffalonians have left because their businesses did not see our community as a good place to set up shop. And when they left, when those businesses left, they took the jobs with them and our economy suffered because of it. But because of the investment that's been created, through Roswell and through the state and through new businesses like Tactiva, we're seeing a new center of development in our economy happening right before our very eyes. New people coming back into the city, new people uh, coming into Western New York and staying here and bringing their families and bringing an entire new economy to the right that we have never seen before. So I'm excited. I'm thrilled to be here. I'm honored to be a part of this amazing announcement. And there's no question in my mind that the best is yet to come for Tactiva, for Roswell, for the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus, and of course, for Buffalo and Western New York. So thank you very much. I'm happy to be a part of this today. Thank you so much, Senator Kennedy. You know, you're such a strong supporter of Roswell. We can always count on you. And so thank you so much for being here today. So that ends our program. Um, I hope you share in this excitement. Uh, the, you know, Roswell, the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus, uh, Buffalo itself. I mean, we are, we are rocking here in uh, Western New York. And, you know, Roswell, we are the cancer center for New York State um, uh, outside of New York City. We serve uh, not only the residents of Western New York, but people come here from all over the state for the therapies that uh, we have here, uh, immunotherapies and other uh, cancer treatments. And so uh, we, ha we take this responsibility very seriously, and we're here. We're doing great stuff, and this is just a perfect example. Kunle, you're my partner in crime through all of this, and uh, it's been we're we're on a great journey. And thank you, uh, Lieutenant Governor Hochul, for spending some time with us. And and please tell the governor how much we appreciate everything that he does for us. So thank you for coming today, and have a great Friday and a great weekend. Thank you.